first responders like police and firefighters are often the unsung heroes. But not to Tyler, who's battled leukemia for years. They put their life on the line every day, and uh, uh, these guys I work with here, you know, that they're, they're the greatest. You know, understand where, where Tyler's uh, enthusiasm comes from. At just three years old, Tyler was diagnosed with cancer. The years after were filled by trips to Tufts Hospital in Boston, a search for a bone marrow transplant match, and a disease from the transplant. But that didn't stop Tyler and his family from holding on to faith that things would get better. Like anything else in life, uh, uh, seems like the bigger the problem, the more faith it's going to take to get through it. On a GoFundMe site dedicated to Tyler's recovery, his mother posted that for his birthday he just wanted notes from his heroes, policemen and firefighters. Instead of putting on gear, the Denison Fire Department is gathering gear to send to Tyler. And cancer is something that hits close to home for so many. My dad had cancer and he actually passed away of cancer. Um, so. I understand. We just want to know they're not in it alone. Comments of support have flooded Tyler's GoFundMe page for years, many encouraging him to, quote, kick this thing in the butt. And he did. I think it's awesome. I think that, uh, I think the good Lord is taking care of him. Tyler's about to celebrate his ninth birthday cancer free. His mother, Rachel, says they found out two summers ago, and since then he's undergone a bone marrow transplant and has a disease from the transplant completely under control. I think that he is a fighter. I believe that uh, by him standing up and, and being brave and courageous uh, helped him overcome this disease. For K10 News, I'm Sarah Strackhouse.